In these problems, we're being asked to simplify some uh, numbers raised to fractional exponents. And remember, if you have um, x to the 1 half power, that is the same thing as the square root of x. So in this first problem, we have 49 to the 1 half power. That's the same thing as the square root of 49, and that's just 7. Let's look at the next one. We have 64 to the 2 thirds power. A little trickier. When you have a numerator and a denominator here, remember the denominator is your root, the numerator is the exponent. So this is going to be 64 squared, and then take the third root of that. So root is the denominator, exponent is the numerator. So let's see, 64 squared is going to be 4096. You probably need a calculator for this. And the cube root of 4096 is 16. All right, one more. Now, it's a little trickier here because we have a, not only a fractional exponent, we have a negative sign. And remember, when you have negative exponents, let's say we have x to the negative 2, that's the same thing as 1 over x to the positive 2. So that negative sign puts it on the bottom of a fraction. Let's try this one. 256 to the negative 3 fourths. What I'm going to do first is just uh, do the negative sign. So we're going to rewrite this as 1 over 256 to the positive 3 fourths. So I've dealt with the negative sign. Now I'm going to deal with this fractional exponent. And remember, the denominator is the root. The numerator is the, uh, the exponent that you raise it to. So let's see. And actually, it doesn't matter which order you do this. You could, um, as we did in the previous one, write squared and then cube root. Or you could write, in this case, fourth root and then cubed. And I think I'm going to do it that way because I happen to know the fourth root of 256 is, uh, is 4. So let's, let's write it that way. So 1 over the fourth root of 256, that quantity cubed. And that is 1 over 4 cubed, which is 1 over 64. So that's a little bit of work with simplifying some fractional exponents.